Um, so to be mindset is garnering a lot of traction. Um, and that's exciting stuff. I feel like, um, this is, I mean, gosh, those of us that have been coaches for more than six months or whatever, since 80 day obsession has, has come out, um, we've had quite a few launches come out and I think this could potentially by far be the best one. Um, I, 80 day obsession was great. I had some good traction on that. I'm, I know you guys did too. Um, but this actually allows us to help people that can't work out and <coughs> want to be as strict with nutrition. So, um, I love that the library is ever expanding and they're always giving us new stuff to help more people. I know like lift, whatever the lift third, lift 30 or lift something, um, uh, lift four, um, with Joel, like that's going to be one to roll right into another launch after like, you know, this one probably calms down a little bit come summer. Um, but to roll into another launch is going to be awesome. And I'm sure at summit they'll announce something coming this fall too. So we'll just, these launches can, um, can, I don't want to say make or break our business, but they can totally like make our business, um, with taking advantage of connecting people with brand new, um, materials and resources and, um, and <coughs> being able to build those new relationships, um, that may, you know, have been hiding in the wings or something so far. So we have community yard sale in our neighborhood this weekend and we were just dragging our stuff out there at like it's supposed to start at eight and we went out there at like seven to open up the garage and there's like hundreds of people swarming the streets already i'm like what is happening so i was gonna do my call out there and like Hi. our our neighborhood garage sales this weekend too but we're missing it so mm. I'm like, please people come buy my crap. Like I need to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> I mean, I have baby strollers and high chairs and stuff, but <clears> my gosh, it keeps going in and out of the house. I'm like, what is going on? So anyway, um, so yeah, so the launch of 2B this week, I don't think they've ever done a launch on a Wednesday before. So that was a little bit weird to me. Usually they do it like at the, you know, like on the first of the month or something. So that way they can add in or they'll go like, we're going to launch early on the 30th, you know? And so I was a little bit surprised to see what this was all about. I don't know why they did it on a Wednesday. I don't know why they did it on the second. I don't know. Um, but kind of midweek is, um, is a little bit weird, um, but I think, you know, overall, um, we've seen some good numbers. I mean, those of you that posted about, you know, looking for 10 women who want to lose weight without working out, you know, that did that post, um, hope I'm hoping that you've had some traction at the very least, um, some new conversations and what I'm doing with those conversations is I'm just keeping a running list. And right now it's on three sheets of paper and scattered with cross mark, you know, highlighter, it's just a mess. Um, and I was showing my husband last night and he's like, what is this? What, what are you doing with all these papers and all these names? And I'm like, I, I don't know. Like I, right now I'm just collecting their names. I'm just responding to them. And as I go, I'm going to put them into like a Google spreadsheet. Um, so I'm just trying to work through those conversations. And I think we probably all are too. Um, and just really navigating and figuring out this program. I am not ashamed to tell people I know nothing about this, you know, like, cause people are asking what, like, what is this about? What are these workouts? Like what are, I mean, what are, you know, what are, is it keto? Is it low carb? Is it, and I'm like, no, it's not, it's something completely different and it's not a diet. And that's the thing. Like, that's what I'm trying to clarify to people because so many people are like, how, you know, how am I supposed to eat? And I'm like, well, well, you're not like supposed to eat like something. You're just supposed to implement these principles and learn new ways to understand how nutrition fuels your body. You're supposed to learn new ways to eat and ha live happy and healthy. And it's going to help you lose weight. Um, I am not coming out of the gate and telling people, like if you guys have, I don't know if anybody's watched any of the videos so far, um, but I got through about six of them yesterday and they're all super short. They're like, 
two to like eight minutes long. Some of them, like the grocery shopping one, I think is like 30 minutes where she like walks you through the grocery store and shows you how to grocery shop and stuff. Um, so these are all things, like all resources that we usually share within our challenge groups, you know, telling people like how, you know, what you should, you know, how you should build your grocery list, like how you should, you know, eat clean, blah, 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 stuff like that. Um, so I love that this is a separate resource, but I want people to understand that like, this is lifetime content, first of all. So it's not like you're just purchasing a program, you know, and then you have to like resubscribe in, you know, 12 months. Um, but this is something that, you know, for 99 bucks, you're getting, you know, I don't know, 42 personal consultations from a registered dietitian along with her recipe book, you know, you're getting this really kick-ass water bottle. Um, you're getting, you know, this tracking guide. And I watched the video yesterday, and she talks about the importance of the tracking guide. Hold on just a second, guys. And she talks about the importance of the, the scale. And, like, when I found out this program, we we're going to have to be telling everybody to get on the scale all the time, I was like, e, um... I, that makes me nervous because I'm not, oh, there's Amy. Hi, Amy. <laughs> um, you know, it makes me nervous because I've always preached, like, the scale does not define you. The scale does not measure your success and your progress and stuff. So I feel like that's going to be really hard to turn around and say, actually, yeah, you do need to get on the scale. So let's go ahead and just get back on the scale. But I think the way that she approaches it and the way that she explains it in her video is that you need to know like how accountable you're keeping yourself to your goals. Like if you have, you know, if, if you legit have 20 pounds to lose, like, you know, you want to lose 20 pounds. You're not just like, well, I'm not really sure, you know, or I really want to build some muscle. I don't really have a weight loss goal. Like if you legit know I need to lose 20 pounds, then yes, <coughs> it's going to be an excellent resource to keep you accountable to those goals. I can see where that makes a lot of sense. You know, I can see where, you know, she says, ideally you want to lose two pounds a week. So if you're going up on the scale, okay, we probably need to make some changes to your nutrition, or we probably need to eat a little bit more veggies. And, you know, so, so a lot of stuff that seems kind of vague and unclear, she covers, and she covered a lot of stuff early on. She talks about the importance of veggies first and why she says veggies first and why it's not like a low carb thing. Like she's like, you can literally eat 10 cups of cauliflower rice for dinner. If you want Chinese stir fry, make it with cauliflower rice and eat 10 cups of it with chicken and, you know, peanut oil and tell me that you're not full, you know, instead of just eating one tiny portion. And that's why we continue to go back for more and go back for more. Um, so she teaches a, a lot of like how to fill up your plate better. So that way you stay more full. And then there's all kinds of videos in there too, that are like, you know, how to break through a plateau. <coughs> you, um, what do you do if you've finished your dinner and you're still hungry? Like then she tells you, you know, like how to refill up your plate again. Um, there's a ton of recipes and, and I know we get a lot of people that are like, like that way to the house. Uh -huh. Um, they're $40. I can, I found them at six for cheaper. Okay. Um, so, um. I don't remember what I was saying. Anybody know what I was saying? Plateaus and filling up your plate and veggies. And um, yeah, so the, ve the veggie thing, yeah, a lot of people are like, well, I don't really like to eat veggies. So I'm just, I don't, you know, it's not going to work for me. And, and I'm trying to like connect with these people and say like, listen, like let's recognize these cues that like you're making an excuse because I'm pretty sure you can find some things that you like to eat or we can make some things that aren't going to taste terribly like veggies. I had a girl message me last night and she's like, here's the thing. I don't eat vegetables and I only like to drink beer and eat cheeseburgers. So this program's not going to work for me. And I'm like, obviously not because you're not willing to make some changes. So like until you're ready to make some changes, like I, I don't know what to tell you. You can still eat burgers. Like, trust me, I looked through kind of some of the meal plans and recipes and stuff. And yeah, there's still burgers on there. So um, so yeah, so I mean, I think, you know, helping people and she, 
she talks through that in her videos, like getting over some of these excuses that we have and self-sabotaging and like, you know, why we, you know, we do so good. And then she said, the reason why people aren't getting on the scale is because they know that they're making, they're not making progress in a positive direction. So they refuse to get on the scale because they don't want to see the progress and then continue to go in a downward slash backward, backward spiral. And then next thing you know, you're up 15 pounds and you're like, well, I tried that diet, but it didn't work for me and blame the diet and not you know, the lack of progress or the lack of commitment or dedication to it. So I think since it is such a mindset change, people need to understand first, like this is not just, you know, videos saying like, Hey, this is how you grocery shop and meal prep. This is like, Hey, this is how you get in your own head and figure out what my issues are with nutrition and why I'm struggling with this and how I can overcome that and how I can make changes to my own life and implement the program. She did say, in the first 30 days, don't expect to lose 50 pounds and be like, well, it's a miracle. Um, but she said between months two and six is when she really starts seeing people get momentum with weight loss and with this program. So she said, uh, you know, as with any program, I mean, how many of us did 80 day obsession? And we're like, this is, you know, the first couple of weeks, like I'm not seeing a ton of changes or phase two, like things aren't really, you know, I'm not seeing the progress that I want to see. Well, it's a trust the process kind of thing. So we need to trust the process. Let's see. Michaela. Um, so, you know, I, I can kind of do <coughs> the test group. Michaela asked me. I kind of default to the test group and I kind of go back to some of the transformation factors. And Katie Gersta um, is a really good resource too because she's in the test group and she's somebody who also like doesn't like vegetables and doesn't like to follow a program and um, jumps around and struggles with nutrition. And I've seen some of the things that she's shared as far as progress goes. And, um, and I, I feel like I mean, it's hard to say. Yes, I think it's going to be effective because it's teaching, like, it's teaching people how to, like, track their food and how to um, recognize cues of, like, hunger and, um, you know, and when you're full and how to fill up on other things. Um, do I think that everyone's going to watch all the videos and follow it? No. Or forward after you know five videos and be like I don't want to do this you know or um and and that's important well, and you know that you know of course something's weird like I'm hearing background something I don't know are we good it's yeah still there hold on sounds like somebody's drumming in the background is that better? Yes. Oh, Amy, did you mute yourself? I don't know what it was. Um, Amy, are you like, is somebody playing drums at your house? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was typing. Maybe that was it. No, I don't think that was it. I don't know what it was. Weird. We just had some weird feedback. <coughs> um, so, <clears throat> so another thing to do, Beachbody Champions, she has gone through a lot of stuff in there. And there's a couple of videos that Alana herself has done in there talking about the program and explaining quite a bit more in detail. Um, I can't really speak to, um, I can't really speak to the people in the, like that have had the results in the test group. I've been trying to walk, watch some of those testimonials in the beach body champions page and listen to, um, you know, like what some of the people in the test group have had to say, but they can't say a lot about the program because people have to like, purchase the program. Um, and I know that some people are like, well, that's, you know, what if I don't like it? What if it doesn't work for me? And I'm like, that's with every single program that you do though, you know, that's with starting any kind of diet or that's with, you know, committing to doing 21 day fix or any, like you, it's, you have to give it a shot. And of course, you know, Beachbody has a 30 day money back guarantee. And, um, and I know that probably six months in, I mean, I don't know what, I don't know what the progress is going to look like, if, but as, but we as coaches can be their network of support. We can be their support system and keep them in a group and keep them accountable. Um, the tracker that they're going to have gives them like, what are my goals for the week? What are my meals this week? Like they, and she teaches to write 
things, these things down. Like she even says in her intro video, she's like, when I was in college and I was drinking beer and eating pizza on the weekends, I was still writing that down in the corner of my notebook. You know, when I was doing my homework, <coughs> I knew that I needed to track my nutrition. And that was the only way that was going to kind of like, she was going to consciously like see what she was eating and what she was putting in her body and, and see, um, about the progress. So um, Autumn did a live video on her Instagram yesterday and I was watching it because she has been getting a lot of questions about like, well, Autumn, I've been following the containers. Like, how is this, you know, how is this different? What do I do with the containers? What do I do with 80 day obsession? And she um, addresses that a little bit. And she also says like, I've never not taught balance with 21 day fix. Like I've always taught that like a yellow container is wine and you know you can trade your wine in and you can still have you know cheese and you can still have all these things she's like but i've always taught moderation so she's like i 100 percent support this program because it teaches balance and it teaches the importance of nutrition and it's just a different way of tracking and staying accountable to your goals so she said you know she's encouraging people to try it and see if you know if for some reason they're not following the containers or that's not making sense to them or they feel like that's a diet or something, um, then go in and, and do this program and utilize the tools that are here. Um, because she's not just teaching, you know, you need to weigh yourself, write your food down and drink, you know, a hundred ounces of water every day. She's teaching like, this is what carbohydrates do for our body. And this is how our body responds to carbohydrates. And these are other alternatives. And this is, you know, how you can eat dairy and what, what cues to notice if your body doesn't respond well. And so she's really, I mean, she's, thank God it's a registered dietitian, first of all, because I think people see, you know, like they see trainer like autumn and they're like, all right, fitness, you know, fitness and blah, blah, blah. And then they see registered dietitian and they're like, okay, this is like legit somebody who's going to teach me about how to eat and nutrition and stuff like that. And, um, and I think it's really important that she's had the success that she's had in her own personal journey that she's lost over a hundred pounds. Um, and just the first like five videos, her introduction, her introduction into like a, about herself and then into this program is really motivating and really inspiring. And it's like eight minutes long. So take the time today, um, or this weekend to like, just go in and, and watch some of those intro videos. Um, and, and just see what's, you know, look through all the videos and see what's in there. There's videos about plating your food, um, how to prep <coughs> breakfasts and lunches she goes through and she she talks about like basically every vegetable like she talks about how you can use every vegetable and how to cook every vegetable and if you guys have been looking in the Beachbody blog lately under the recipes they have just pumped tons of really good veggie recipes in there like there's a cheesy cauliflower nacho recipe that they just put up there the other day and there's like all kinds of you know like veggie boat things and like miscellaneous like vegetables she's talking about turnip fries and like how to make you know you can still have fries and making fries out of you know different vegetables and stuff like that so there's um, a bunch of alternatives and I I mean yeah people are going to complain about you know I don't want to eat cucumber for my lunch every day like I okay great there's tons of alternatives tons of alternatives and that's what she's teaching um, is how to use these things and utilize them in our best um, in our best benefit so let me look and see what else. Um, okay, so why is it different than what we already try to teach people? Um, I think it's just, I think for those of us that have had like kind of just a like even keel like experience with Beachbody Nutrition, you know, using the containers and following the programs and stuff, um, that's kind of all that we know. This is kind of a different alternative that... Um, and especially for people who have more weight to lose and who have not been tracking their nutrition or maybe who haven't been honest with their nutrition, this is kind of like a, like teaches you how to be a little bit more honest with yourself. Like you're writing things down, you're tracking, um, you know, you're tracking your food every day and then, and then you're getting on the scale. And, um, and she, she does dive into that, um, that scale thing a little bit more. She talks a lot about well, you guys go in there and look, um, look and see it, you know, all the videos that she breaks down about, um, the plateaus and all that stuff too. Um, and she addresses specifically the things that we, you know, maybe we address them in our challenge groups a little bit here and there, but she dives into like emotional eating and she dives into a lot more of that stuff. So there's a lot more stuff that I think, 
you know, and where Autumn hasn't lost a hundred pounds or has, you know, gone through some of those struggles, I think this is where she can connect with a lot of people who have more struggles with weight loss and with nutrition. And maybe who don't just, you know, I don't want to sign up for something and have to work out every day of the week and use these little containers. Like maybe I just want to continue to live my life and learn how to implement some better nutrition habits so that way I can continue to lose weight and not feel bad about, you know, myself or not feel bad about my eating habits or um, anything like that. So, um, Amy, yeah. So I've had a couple people ask, is this through Beachbody? And I'm like, yeah, you know, it is through Beachbody, but this is a separate, like, this is a brand new, a registered dietitian. This is a nutrition tab. So you don't have to sign up for Beachbody workouts to do this. And that's what I'm telling people. Like, you don't have to follow a Beachbody program. This is just, you know, just as if you would hire a registered dietitian and go to her you know, clinic or office or whatever, and meet with her and she would give you consultations. This is exactly what she does in her private practice. So I'm, I'm telling them you get a virtual dietitian, you know, and then you get a virtual community. You know, you're in a group, we're checking in, we're working through, and there's a challenge group guide in the back office and in the, um, um, under the challenge tracker portal, there's a challenge group guide that I'm going to be using in the group. And um, I'm going to be following along with those videos and those posts and um, working on connecting with people a little bit more through that challenge group guide too. Um, and, um, and yeah, so like, you're right, you know, telling people like, you don't have to work out. Um, Shakeology is something that I've had a lot more people on board for Shakeology with this than I have for some of the other stuff. And I think it's because they are more focused on nutrition and not just fitness where I think when you, you know, with a fitness program, um, I implement Shakeology because I want to use it overall to help their overall nutrition with this. I'm like, she wants, she's recommending it because of the powerhouse of nutrients that you get. And sometimes we don't always like to eat vegetables and sometimes we don't always like to eat, you know, all these healthy things. And this is a really great alternative. You still get to have a milkshake every day and it's not that you're cutting out other things so you can have this. You're also including it in, um, Amy, I'm with you, a ton of follow-ups. Um, and I think, you know, this, this whole month is an opportunity to really like educate ourselves on this program, take this program, take it to the next level and kind of reconnect with people and maybe with our previous challengers and, um, and stuff like that too. Oh gosh, so, <laughs> Duke. Oh my gosh, sorry guys, hold on. Duke, Duke, come on. So our back deck doesn't have steps and we have a contractor here that's like apparently he just started using the table saw like a minute ago in Duke's parking. So we're like getting steps built right now. Um, so anyway, um, so yeah, this month we have an amazing opportunity to, you know, to learn a little bit more about this program and then start implementing ways we can share this, whether we continue to do that post, you know, and, and, um, if you haven't done that post yet, I would definitely do it. And then working through those follow-ups. I just posted late last night in the group, a document with to be mindset conversations, um, from another girl in the dream team. Um, and what's great about that document is that she kind of has broken down her conversations and put them in there. Like what to say, what to say next, how to share, you know, and that's a really good, you know, not to follow a script, but a really good thing to go look at and kind of just see how to walk through a conversation to connect with somebody and connect them to the solution. Um, and I, you know, always just remind as a reminder, like we're not here to just make a sale real quick about this program. You know, we're here to connect. This is emotional for a lot of people. This is a struggle for a lot of people. And when you can help connect them to their 
reason why they want to do this and you can really help connect with them on a more personal level and if this is something that you've had struggles with too it's important to share that it's important to share you know yeah actually like i have a stressful day and i come home and i want to drink a bottle of wine and eat all the cheeses you know and like those are things that you know i share them with people because people need to know that you know you're a human too and you're a coach and just because everything's outside okay Okay, you have a splinter, I'll get it out in a minute, okay? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, those emotional connections, um, sharing your experience through this process, sharing you know, little tidbits and you know, sneak peeks of stuff that you've learned along the way as you're working through these videos, um, recipes that you're implementing, you know, share those little things. And, um, and that will, will make a difference. That will make a difference in your traction. That will make a difference in... <laughs> Out in the garage. We're having a garage sale. Um, yeah, go on. <clears throat> so, um, Michaela, tell me a little more about how I'm running my group. So, yeah, so there's the, the thing in the challenge in the back office under the My Challenge, what is it? Grow The Grow My Business tab, there's a My Challenge tracker portal, and in there is the um, challenge group guides um for those of you that are new um, and listening so in are you, so are you are you just gonna like copy and paste that pretty much yes and i'm gonna share some of the recipes from the blog within there so this group that i have right now this change your mindset change your life group this is like a holding tank so i'm going to you know i'm adding i'm adding everybody that requests to join i'm trying to screen them a little bit and have a conversation with them first um, and just kind of see what their interest level is and then i'm just keeping tabs like i'm going through my list and please like do not judge <laughs> but this is how like i've just been writing people down as they go and checking them off when I message them back and then highlighting them, you know, as they enroll and then going through and saying like, you know, going back to them. And my goal is to go back to them, you know, within the next week or so if they haven't responded and, you know, follow up and say, what are you learning from the group? Is there anything I can help you with? You know, sharing little things in there. I'm going to go live a few more times and talk about what I'm learning as I'm working through these videos. I just did kind of a welcome post last night. I did a YouTube video in there about like how to access this content once you've enrolled and like what, you know, what your next steps are. Um, and then I'm going to merge that group into the tracker app, into the My Challenge tracker app, because that way I can kind of give them the benefit of like, you have a little bit more in detail availability to kind of track your progress and stuff. This nutrition app that comes out on the 4th, I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what it's going to look like. I think we're all kind of in the dark over here. Like, what is this separate nutrition app going to be like? What are, you know, what are you giving us, Beachbody? Give us, like, a hint, you know, tell us a little bit more. So I'm hoping that, I know Kim Carver is really good about releasing those, like, product updates and, like, he does tutorials and stuff. So I'm hoping that in the next couple of weeks we'll see something come out for that. So look for that in the Beachbody Champions page. Um, and I'm in this group it's designed to be a like 15 to 30 day from what i've seen in the back office um kind of a way to work through this stuff so i've heard a lot of coaches are doing 90 day groups for this you can absolutely do that on the tracker app and i think i'm probably going to set that up for 90 days and work through until the end of the summer um, and then just do post in there every couple days. I'm not going to post in there every single day some in-depth detailed, you know, because they're already going to have the ability to access and, and watch Ilana's videos. So I don't feel like I need to do double the work. But, you know, I think sharing, this is a really great veggie recipe you can try. What are some things you're trying? Who wants to work through a meal plan? You know, sharing a couple meal plans and stuff like that. So I think just those little things. And then um, the Beachbody blog is really great with a lot of those articles. 
Um, yeah, Michaela asking how they're applying those things in their life. What are some things that you're doing? How are the changes, you know, how are these changes coming through with you, your family? What are you, you know, what is your family responding to some of these recipes that you're making? What are some things that you've kind of tweaked a little bit? What is a recipe that you love? Um, how are you dealing with stress at work when you get home, you know, and just trying to help people connect with this mindset and teach this mindset um, and, and how to use it in real life. Um, and then again, just knowing don't trust the, or don't trust the process. Don't, know, don't think it's going to happen overnight. Um, and then, yeah, Julie, Julia Perez um, said something. She's um, a coach in the dream team. She said something about, you know, when somebody says like, um, oh my gosh, I don't even know. Like, I'm so nervous about this. I've never done anything like this before. And then turning that like negativity or their, you know, hesitation into a positive in spin and saying, this is exactly why you need to do this because you have hesitation and you have doubt and you've failed in the past. And this is time. It's time to stop failing and it's time to learn how to do this the right way. And that's what we're going to do. Um, so, um, but, and yeah, and get them excited about it. And, and I think, you know, I have several women who are in their sixties that have reached out to me that are like, I don't want to have to work out. Please tell me I don't have to work out. Like, that's not my thing. And I'm like, you really don't like you, you have the option to, you don't. And if they're not doing beach body on demand, I would strongly suggest setting them up with clean week for free. So that way, if they want to do workouts, they have that option to log in and get that free clean week access. Um, for those of you that are new, there is access in the, um, in the BB links app where you can sign them up for clean week for free. Um, and you can also do that through, um, I think you can do that through share a cart and it's not the clean week. That's like 29 95 or whatever. It's just like, they literally just go in and click on clean week and, um, and they can put in your coach ID and then they'll have access to those five workouts and the clean week program for life. Um, so that's something, you know, again, if you have somebody who doesn't want to work out, they're not really sure if they want to work out, they don't really want to buy all of the beach body on demand stuff. You can give them that option. Tracy, did you have a question? Yeah, I have a question. So if I have some people who um, had Beachbody On Demand and it's expired, they still have access to Clean Week already, right? Right, yeah. Okay, that's what that's I thought. Free. As long as they have that free account. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They don't have, and that's like, that goes for anybody. Like anybody yeah. can pay, or not pay, oh my gosh. Anybody can sign up for Clean Week and, um, you know, and even if they've never tried Beachbody On Demand, and, and I'm telling them this too, like you don't, because there are a lot of people are asking, is this through Beachbody on demand? And I'm like, not really. Like, you're not going to go to Beachbody on demand and then log in. Like, you, I think you can go to to be mindset.com and still access um, all of this stuff too. It gives you your login. So, um, a lot of information, guys. It's a lot. I mean, it's a lot. It's, it's, different. And I think that's why it's so much is because it's so different. You know, with 80 day obsession, we knew what was coming. We knew we had access on demand and here's this new workout program. And you know, this is what we're doing. And now it's this completely separate, like, but so it's not technically beach body on demand. It's a new pro. And then, so I don't have to work out like, what, is, what am I doing? You know, but I'm, I'm telling people just as if, as you would log in to on demand, and click on your day one of 21 day fix, you're going to click on your videos and sit and watch them. Yes, you can sit on the couch like Netflix and watch videos and lose weight. Like <laughs> if you really don't wanna work out and you wanna sit and watch videos and lose weight, this is a great way to do it. Um, I do wanna um, do some little check-ins this week too. Um, does anybody have anything else you wanna cover with 2B Mindset? Any questions, um, any concerns any enrollment stuff um, yeah. Kelly what are you doing over there with all your makeup on so it's um, lipstick <laughs> you look great always always with the lipstick <laughs> I'm scary without it <laughs> thank you I don't can you am I frozen no my internet is being wonky um 
Kelly, you can, we've been chatting for a little bit, so you, I'll post the recording and you can go back and watch. We were just yeah, talking sorry about, about that. I was like trying to get out of the house to get to baseball and no, no got like full body rash and need to take him to the doctor. So oh. I'm trying to call the doctor. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So no, it was just an allergy. And I, I checked in at like 745 and there wasn't anything about a call. So I was like, okay, maybe it's at 830. And so I thought I was thinking it was 830. So I'm sorry. Oh no, you're fine. No worries. Um, <clears throat> do you have any questions about to be mindset or anything with to be mindset besides the fact that you're rocking the crap out of this launch? Shout out to Kelly who's signed like five coaches in the last day. <laughs> uh, yeah. She's going to be diamond. She, there's a good oh, chance. Hi, Sarah, I didn't even know you were there. Well, I wasn't. I just scrolled over. I didn't realize you guys were on. Hi. <laughs> I'm on my phone, so it like only shows up like three people. So I didn't. I didn't oh, I can't see you there because I'm on my phone. Oh, Hi. there you are. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't have any questions. <laughs> it's going really well. I don't have any questions. Um, so signing up coaches, I w I want to touch on that real quick. Um, because I think that's really important when you talk to somebody about this program that they have the option when they enroll as a coach. Um, to access Ilana's private test group. So just like we did with 80 Day Obsession, um, Autumn had it, you know, when you enroll with 80 Day Obsession as a coach, you get an email to join her coach test group. Same thing with Ilana. So I'm telling people, you don't have to be a coach. Like just because you enroll as a coach does not mean you have to like get on this call every week and like rock the crap out of your business and recruit people and, you know, do all that stuff. You don't have to coach. Like you can literally be a coach for the discount. I know a lot of you guys know this too, um, and I'm talking to those of you that are new as well. But you, you know, let people know that like just because you sign up as a coach doesn't mean you have to coach people in this business. Like you can, if you want access to the coach test group, you will get access by enrolling as a coach. You will get your 25% off account every month, um, and you will, um, you know, you'll be able to utilize that kind of to your advantage. So um, especially if you're building for rank then I really encourage you to enroll people as coaches or at least have that conversation with them or encourage them to enroll as a coach, especially if they're military because that $15 monthly fee is waived uh, or military vets. Um, but if you're pushing to get to that next rank, definitely, definitely conversation um, with people as enrolling as coaches. Um, Amy, I'm gonna shout you out too because Amy literally just signed up in the last week and she just signed up for first coach this week. Um, and she is halfway to Emerald. So, um, woo -woo. um, so yeah, so just those little, you know, talking with friends and family is really important, especially with this program. If you guys have people in your family that have struggled with nutrition, this is a really great way to connect with them, um, a little bit more, um, about it. And with Shakeology, you know, I'm having that conversation. I'm saying, listen, like, and I don't like to discount Shakeology because it's so valuable. But I'm also telling people, like, you not only get lifetime content access for 99 bucks, but then your Shakeology that's normally 130 is just an extra 60 bucks more. So you're basically getting Shakeology at less than half price. Um, and to try, you know, to try it for 30 days. And Beachbody does do that 30-day money-back guarantee. So also when people ask, is this through Beachbody? Yeah, it is. And what's great about Beachbody is they do a money-back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied with this program, like, they will refund your money. Um, so that's kind of another nice little benefit. Um, who wants to, who has questions about anything? Um, who wants to do a quick little check-in um, about your week? I'm gonna eat over here, so I'm gonna. Anyone? Bueller? Kelly, go ahead, tell us your magic powers. I, I don't have any. I'm just doing what I always do. It's just people just don't want to work out. They really like this. <laughs> Kelly texted me last night. She was like, I just think I have a bunch of friends who are lazy and don't want to work out. I was, like, I was like, like telling Eric, I was like, you know, like I've not been hitting SE the past couple months. Well, I did last month, last month, but barely. And the two months before that, no. And, you know, I was pretty consistent last year, like every month for almost the whole year. I think I missed one month last year so i just realized that i mean i guess my market just does not like to work out 
I mean, I literally thought like people don't use Facebook anymore. Like I rarely post on Facebook. I was trying to like do the whole Instagram thing. I posted one little freaking sentence on Facebook and literally had 40 people message me. That's crazy. Okay. So did you then, so you put them all in the informational group. Yeah. And I've and I, literally I used stole I, I just, all your like, I just stole everything from Ashley's group. So thank you. Okay. And I stole. So there we are. Team planning. Uh -huh. um, and I stole from you. So you. Right. And Tiffany is stealing from me too. Um, uh -huh. So did you then go in and message them like privately? Yeah. So originally I didn't put them all in the group. Originally I messaged them. I think it was something Ashley had posted that was like, here's what I'm using to follow up. Um, and so it said, yeah, it was something Ashley posted. I literally just copied and pasted it. That's it what I used to. About, like, do you, want, you want more about this or whatever? Like it said something about like the programs developed by a registered dietitian, blah, blah, blah. We're going to follow this. And, and then it was like, do you want to learn more? Do you want me to send you more details? And almost everybody was like, yes. So then I sent them that, well then like, when I had like 40 people saying yes, then that's when I was like, okay, I need to put them all in a group so that I don't have to send all these people that document <coughs> the Google doc. So I had started sending it to all of them, but then there were so many interested. So then I just put them all in a group and then I posted that Google doc there. And I, I mean, I immediately put the pricing on there, which I never do. I like, never talk about price, but I just, I made two like quick images and I just put the pricing. I had one girl say something to me like, Oh, well, I thought we could get it for 99. And I was like, you can, but it's not with Shakeology. You can't be in the test group if you don't have Shakeology. And that was it. So yeah, I have a question. Um, so Ashley just said the coach test group, you have to be a coach, but is there a, was there a test group just for people? That yeah, what? Huh? Kelly test group, right, Cal? Yeah. So I just called mine a test group in the post. Oh. I said that something instead of calling it like a challenge group, I just said that it's a test group because All right. technically I've never done this before. So I guess <laughs> You're testing it out. So Lana's group, you have to be a coach. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I've been telling everything <coughs> I said about like, hey, you get access to this. You're probably going to want to keep up your Shakeology because you're going to see how beneficial it is for you. But if you don't want to, just cancel it next month and you cancel the coach thing. Usually I have everybody tell me no about coaching. And for some reason, everyone's like, okay, cool. I don't know what the deal is, guys. Like, I'm not doing anything different than, <laughs> than I've been doing before. So I just literally, this just, this, my market just does not want to work out. <laughs> I had like five ladies from work come to my desk the other day. Yeah, like all the people at my work. I don't think I have a Friday fit club. I just have a like fi Friday drinking club at my school. So nice. <laughs> I had a lot of girls from school. You had a lot of what? I had a lot of girls from school, but like, so I put everybody, so I had the same thing. I had like 40 people and I put everybody in an informational group and I've gone through and I've gone live and I've gone through the bit like. And it's like crickets. Like now nobody's saying anything. And I'm like. I did send follow-up messages yesterday. I said. That's hey. But that was because I had such an interest. So I was messaging people last night. Actually, I think I made a video and put it in there. You did. Um, I also messaged people and said, um, I put you in this Facebook group. Like I told them all. So, because a lot of times people don't look at the groups because there's so many groups on Facebook. They don't know. So like after, right. after I was having conversations with everyone, I did before I put them in this group and I put them in the group and I said, Hey, I just wanted you to know that I had so much interest in this, um, that I put you in a Facebook group. You can find all the information you need there. Let me know if you have any questions. So I've still been having like conversations with people here and there, right. but I told them everything you need to know is in this group. And I like, if they asked me something and it was in the group, I was like, just go look at this document in the group. You'll find the answers there and then let me know and we can chat about it or whatever. So I think, I think it helped that I like, followed up and said, Hey, go to this group for information. 
because otherwise people just ignore the shit that you put them in. You know what I mean? That's true. I, that's my experience in the past because I have like prep week or, you know, informational groups for all my challenge groups and there, nobody talks in those and nobody posts and nobody does anything in those either. But I've also like not really said to people, Hey, I'm putting you in this group for information. Like, I don't know. Yeah. That's kind of what my messages are today. Like I'm going back and like messaging everyone, like mm -hmm. about whatever. But I do think the sense of urgency helps. Like, and I, again, I've always done the whole sense of urgency thing for some reason. It just seems to be really working. But I said, <clears throat> there are, you know, in my original post, it was like, there are 20 spots. So then when I got on the video last night, I was like, there's just been so many people like excited about this that literally the spots are filling up so quickly, but it's true. They are <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I, I think I've signed 10 people up already. So it's like, I made it clear last night in the video, there's only 10 spots left. So if you want to do this, you need to get with it. So, yeah. And then I had probably five people message me after that and they're like, okay, I need to do this. So I sent like three more links last night and then I have like three more today to send. So a couple <laughs> other things that everyone can do, like in addition to that, um, you know, I have three spots left, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, of course, like if you have three spots left, like, and 15 people are like, sign me up, you're not going to be like, no, I, you know, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, of course, you know, we're going to, like, if all 41 in, fine, I'll let them all. Right. Go. Yeah. Right. Like, Starts I'm Monday. Going to ask you 100 this month. Like, well, let's just blow it out of the water, right? Um, but yeah, like, I, and I've I've commented that on my own posts. Like, I've opened up 20 more spots because these spots are filling up. Like, and I've had people that reach out that are like, "Is it too late? Like, can I still, you know?" Mm -hmm. And I think that does make a difference. That does show people like, "Yes, I have a ton of interest." And if you want the exclusivity that I can provide for you with a private group and accountability and all of this stuff, like yes, you probably need to do this right now. And the people that I understand, like if they're waiting until payday and like things like that, like that's, you know, that's one thing. But people that are like, I'm not really sure if I want to do this because I'm just not really sure if I can follow it. Like those are the people that I'm like, why are you making excuses? First of all, like, because you're only holding yourself back. Second of all, why do you not do it? Like what, what's, what's your biggest reason for not wanting to do this? And I will talk you through that and we will make it work. We will make it happen for you. So, um, so I think just that reassurance and I mean, you guys know it, like we're all coaches. Like we have all helped ourselves at the very least and helped, you know, another person or have been a source of inspiration to someone. Um, you have the ability to continue to do that and channel that energy into someone else and help them believe in their self, themselves too. Um, so keep that in mind that you are a badass and that you can rock this launch and that you will have success with this because it's been, it's not to sound like an infomercial, but like it's proven that it's working. You know, people in the test group are coming out of it with really great results. Share those results in your groups, share those transformations, share, go into the Beachbody Champions page and share, you know, a couple of videos from some other coaches that are in the test group that are talking about this program. Um, or, you know, go to Alana's YouTube page and grab some videos from there. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Um, so just, you know, keep that positive, keep that positive mindset to be mindset. Um, but people will see that they'll see your energy and they'll see your excitement about it. And, you know, I, again, like we're learning this program too. Like we don't really know much about it and it's very new. And of course something very, I'm sure people probably felt the same way when 21 day fix came out. Like I don't really know much about these containers. I don't really know how we're going to use them, you know, but they've proven success. And, and I go back to Beachbody and I say like, this works for so many people. Like this is a company that stands behind their products so well that they're willing to give you your money back. Okay. Can can I, can I talk to you in like five minutes, please? Awesome. Awesome. Garage sale excitement. Um, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so, um, there was something else I wanted to say that Kelly had just mentioned. Um, 
Kelly, what are you doing for, like, how are you converting people over to your app? Will you talk about that? Like, you're, I know you're doing it on the app. What are you doing specifically for that? I do all my stuff on the app, so <clears throat> once they sign up, I just add them to the app. Are you start, do you have an app started right now already that you're? I'm going to start it today or tomorrow. And I usually just have, like, a welcome post, but, hmm. I mean, I'm just going to use Alana's guide that's on there. I, I don't know. And I, I mean, I was like super honest with everybody and who's talked to me and I've just said, I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. Like, we're just going to learn this together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. And everybody's just like, okay. But I mean, I watched so many videos yesterday. Like I started diving into the program. It's so good. Yeah. It's it really good. And I mean, it's not like rocket science. It's stuff that you already know, but it's, it's a different mindset definitely than what I'm used to. Like I've been following those damn containers for two and a half years and mm -hmm. this is different. Mm -hmm. Like I, just the fact that I don't have to restrict like things, anything. I mean, something as simple as like a whole wheat waffle. I don't have to restrict that. And so then I'm like, this is awesome. I know that sounds so dumb, but like, I don't know. I think it's very different. <laughs> That's the thing too. It's very different than 80 day obsession. So like coming off of that to go into this, it just feels like a freaking dream come true. <laughs> Yay. I can have guacamole. Woo. Woo. <laughs> because today's Cinco de Mayo and I'm only eating Mexican and margaritas. And I was really sad that I forgot to wear a shirt today. What? I was really sad I forgot to work out in my taco shirt today. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I'll have to do that later. I haven't done it yet. Did you already take your workout pictures? Yeah, there? just go back and take your picture again. Yeah. <laughs> right? I have my taco shirt. I'll put it on tonight when we get home. There you go. <laughs> Happy Cinco de Mayo, guys. Yeah, you too. Um, I don't think I have anything else. Does anybody else want to share anything um, from this week? Any victories that you've had? Any challenges? Any excitement? Um, Tiffany is starting to really push and like she wants to like full on coach. She texted me yesterday and she was like, I want to have my own uh, to be mindset group. And I was like, all right. So I like took her through everything. And so she's going to come over tomorrow and we're going to plan. I think Tracy's going to come too. So I'm excited. Nice. And we have our first team retreat on Friday. What are you guys doing? We're going to a winery, a local winery. That's exciting. After school. <laughs> it's only four of us, but I was like, Hey, mm -hmm. I'm excited. Girl, you have a team. Go retreat. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's it. I'm just sending messages now. Oh, I did just get a mean message from a girl on Instagram. She was mad that my um, message to her, like when she started my like following me, my like thanks for following me. She was mad I didn't respond right away. So she wanted to tell me that that was rude. <laughs> It's like, well, thank you, thank you up for the back. I'm trying really hard to organize, and yeah. Hater. Wow. Did you say, um, I have 900 followers, so excuse me. <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal. In case I'm, I'm big kind deal. of a big deal. I don't know if you know this. Yes, Michaela, I am doing social STEM. I do like it. Um, I, you know, and I kind of looked at it like this. If I get one new person from Instagram a month that pays for itself. So that's a good I, way to, yeah. Like, so I don't know. I really like it. I like that. It sends the messages out. Um, I did add that this week, which is probably why you stalk me. Thanks. I need a stalker in my life. Um, which is probably why she is mean to me now because it automatically sends the message. And so now she's a mean girl. Are you having a lot of response with that, with that automated message? I am. Are you um, having trouble keeping up with it? Um, no, but I'm getting a lot of coaches and like, I mean, some are not and some are, and I do like, 
I don't, I don't know. I, I kind of think I'm going to take Fit Mom off my yeah. thing. I would. Because I, I'm yeah, getting like that this, or like keto people and I don't need to talk to you. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you do. Maybe they need to do 2B mindset. Maybe. Diets. God. Stop eating fried cheese. <laughs> Dipped in cheese sauce. <laughs> right. With the cheese, like cheese, stop using Velveeta cheese for your sandwich bread. Come on. Right. Well, <laughs> is that really a thing? I'm, it is a thing. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. That's offensive. I know. All right. I got to run. All right, ladies. All right. See ya. Yeah. Bye. So, bye. Bye, Kelly. Have a good day. Um, the only other thing I was going to say is that I have our new coach training, um, kicking off. So if you have anybody that's interested or anybody that wants to dive in a little bit more, Deidre and I are going to, we're kind of launching it this weekend and we're going to start, um, with a new coach kickoff call on Sunday night at 8 PM central time, um, where we're going to just kind of cover the basics, like for, um, the basic, you know, oh, basics for coaching. You. I know just one minute. Okay. Oh, uh, break. And then throughout the group, we're kind of, yeah, why don't you sit over here, okay? Um, and you can eat the rest of those, okay? You're welcome. Um, so just, you know, basics, coach basics, that's, I mean, it's always kind of called, been called coach basics, um, but focusing on those early on like business building habits that we implement every day, you know, like talking to people, working through conversations, tracking your business, um, social media stuff, um, <clears throat> learning the back office, and then focusing on rank advancement and then continuing to build that rank advancement. So I want to show you guys this thing and I can post this in the page. Um, but this is a diamond tracker, like how to get to diamond. Um, and as you know, like diamond coach is four coaches on each leg. One of each is emerald and then your diamond. So I've been using this and my goal is to do this every month. So know that I'm three and a half years into this business and know that like my goals are, pretty big this year. So my goal is to get myself to diamond every month. My goal is to get to sign four, to sign eight coaches and get two coaches to Emerald every month. So basically like I'm rebuilding a diamond every month. Big goals, right? So, um, so if this is something, you know, it's totally possible to get to diamond in 90 days. It's possible to do it in 30 days to, with two mindset. I mean, Kelly's showing us that she just might do it in a few days. So, um, so using something like this kind of as a roadmap for, and I think I've got a diamond bubble in the file section in our team page, but printing out this and I can add, I'll, I'll add this to the team page, um, but printing out this and giving yourself a roadmap to get to that next big goal really, really helps visualize. Um, so say you set a goal for diamond, like by July 1st, um, then, you know, start filling this out and start writing down the coaches that you're signing and the dates that you're signing them and pay a little bit more attention to, um, you know, your conversations that you're having and knowing that like, you can build this. You can build, I mean, I've seen coaches go diamond in, you know, 26 days or whatever. Um, and this launch, the, you know, the ability to connect with so many people really can give us this opportunity to build and grow and build a sustainable business. And not only that, but like we can, we can build coaches through these groups, people that are following the program, doing personal development, um, you know, seeing results and sharing those things with others. I have a girl who I just signed last night and she doesn't want to, she initially said she doesn't want to coach and I was, but she doesn't want to pay for her Shakeology every month. And I said, do you know anybody that would want to do this program with you? Like, do you know anybody that, yes, one minute. Um, do you, like, ah, um, do you like, you know, do you have any friends or family that 
would want to do this program with you, you know? And she's like, yeah, actually my mom and my sister. And I'm like, there you go. Boom. Like your Shakeology is paid for this month. Get them signed up. And then you're, you unlock the um, compensation plan and then you start getting your weekly paychecks. And she's like, okay, cool. So, I mean, just those little conversations can make a really big difference. And if somebody is hesitant over price, I always give them that option. If you have three friends that you want to join you on this journey, boom, your stuff is paid for. And that like, oh, well, I could probably find three friends. And then you've built yourself a new emerald and you've helped them do this and make it affordable. So, um, so don't discount your discounts and don't discount the opportunity to uh, help somebody reach their own kind of personal goals. So I have an I have really good vibes about this launch and this, the way that we're going with this and this team, I think we're just doing amazing things, ladies. So I'm really excited to have all of you here and to watch this continue to build and grow and do amazing things. So yay. Um, well, it's 9.04. I will let you guys go. I'm going to go relieve my husband of garage sale duties. Um, and uh, have an awesome weekend. So um, anybody need anything, drop on the team page. I'll post this. And, uh, and we'll kind of just go from there. All right, ladies. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.